hello students today i'll be focusing on a new and a very important topic called the uniform civil code so this question may be asked for gs2 question gs2 part for 5 10 or 20 marks so let's get the video started uniform civil code so what is uniform civil code uniform civil code means a set of laws that is important for the that is uh, same for all religion in the personal matters like marriage divorce inheritance adoption etc so what is uniform civil code if it comes to two marks you can write this as uniform civil code is one that provides for one law for entire country that is in india if you uh, uniform civil code is implemented uh, it will have the same law for every uh, religion in india and this will be in the matters of personal matters like marriage, divorce, inheritance, adoption, etc. So what is the uh, background of this? The Uniform Civil Code was de dates back to 18, uh, 1836, when, 1826 when the Second Law Commission report was given. So the, se the Second Law Commission report said that codification of law is necessary but this should not extend to the religious or social relig uh, so religious practices of Hindus and Muslims. And following the 1857 revolt of uh, or the first war of Indian independence, the Queen Victoria's declaration promised not to interfere in the religious matters of Hindus and Muslims or other religion in India. So, following this, the BNR committee was formed in 1941. So the BNR committee uh, was formed to codify the Hindu law in 1941. In, uh, so this was unsuccessful. And following this, there has been demand for implementation of uniform civil code. However, when the constitution was created, when the constitution was in making process, Jawaharlal Nehru felt that Jawaharlal Nehru felt that the people were not ready so instead of making it a law uh, he provided this uniform civil code in uh, directory principle state policy in the hope that in the future the people will make laws or regulate laws in this matter so he provided the uniform civil code under article 44 of the constitution which provides for a uniform civil code throughout the territories of india and in honor of being uniformity, the courts have often said in the judgment that the government should move towards a uniform civil code. So, the next is a very important uh, subject on the uniform civil code that is the Shah Bano case of 1985. So, what happened in Shah Bano case 1985? In Shah Bano case 1985, there was a widow named Shah Bano and she was abandoned by her husband because of giving talak so with no one to support her family or children she petitioned before the court and this became famous as the shabano case of 1985 where the husband was was directed by the court to pay rupees 500 as a fee for um, for taking care of, of his wife and children so this was a very important step towards uniform civil code and the second is the Charya Bano case where the triple talak was banned. What is triple talak? Triple talak is a, a practice in among the <coughs> Muslims in which the if the husband says talak three times, then talak three times, then the husband and wife stays di divorced. And this has been impact this has impacted the uh, the social and the social rights of the Muslim woman and as in as inflicted upon their lives so the sharia bano case was an important case where the triple talak was declared unconstitutional and <coughs> the triple talak is also known as the talak e bidat so the question may be asked is why is there need for uniform civil code so the first is national integration a uniform civil code that is law have a, a set of laws common to every religion will bring together national integration that is no no other other religion will be 
differentiated by their different roles. However, all the religions like Christian, Muslim, Sikh, <coughs> Hindus, etc. will be brought under a common law. So this will help in integrating the people towards national unity in conformity with changing times. Time has been changing when there has been inter-community marriages, inter-caste marriages and inter-faith marriages, inter-community between uh, between various communities, inter-caste between the low caste and high caste, and inter-faith marriages is between Christian, Muslims, Sikhs, etc. into relationship. So this has, the, the times are changing and hence there is a need of law to bring to to cope up with the changing times. And next is the protection of vulnerable section of society. Many vulnerable section of the society I will be provided protection by the Uniform Civil Court S and this was envisaged by B.R. Ambedkar, including women and religious minorities. Next is the adhering to the idea of secularism. A secularism, what is a secularism? That is everyone has the right to follow their own religion and hence a, a secular republic uh, needs a common law for all citizens rather than individual laws based on religious practices. That is, instead of having different different laws for every religion, like for Hindus, the uh, laws is different. For Muslims, the laws is different. The Christian, the laws is different. So every one will be brought under a simple, uh, single law, and this will promote the idea of secularism. That is, everyone is equal in terms of religion. Simplification of laws. That is, there are many laws like the the Hindu marriage law, the Christian laws of inheritance, the Muslim laws of inheritance, the Hindu laws of inheritance, each having their differentiated complex st uh, structures. So the simplification of uniform civil code will simplify all the laws and make them into one simple law, and which will make um, works easier even for courts and various other. Uh, judicial processes next what is the challenges ahead for uniform civil court so the challenges ahead for uniform civil court is that communal politics because every in a democratic so uh, society like india the the idea of communalism has played a very important role in winning election and this will be an important part and this system may not be changed so um, politicians will play the communal the communal card in order to win elections so this will hamper upon the implementation of the uniform civil code and a large section of society sees it as majoritarianism majoritarianism under the gaps of social reform so take for example the present government that is bjb so the many of the people will believe that they are trying to promote hinduism and degrade uh, degrade Muslims, Islams. So this is seen as a majoritarian of the Hindu, Hindu sect inflicting upon the Muslim uh, society. So this has been a communal politics that has been played for decades. Next, the constitutional hurdle. One first, the next is the constitutional hurdle. That is, according to Article Twenty Five of the Indian Constitution, everyone has the right to follow their own religion and preserve the, also their own religion so this will come in clash between the uniform civil code and article 25 that is one says that there should be a simple single law for every religion and one pres preserves the religion their own religion so this will play this will be a uh, down uh, down back for uh, implementation of uniform civil code and also <coughs> under article 14 that is everyone has to follow has the right of equality to follow any religion so this will come in conflict with the implementation of the uniform civil code so so this is the topic on uniform civil code so the question may be asked well, why is there need for uniform civil code so national integration uh, to cope up with the changing times to protect the vulnerable sections of the society and um, promoting secularism and simplification of law and what are the challenges is the communal politics that is played by the politicians and the constitutional um, struggle struggle and or hurdles between the article 25 and article 14 against uniform civil code so with this the video on uniform civil code has been asked 
has been asked and solved so i hope you all like the video and thank you all for watching and have a great time